Hi, Jessica. My name's Tanisha. It's nice to meet you. And I appreciate you giving me the time today. How are you? I'm good. Thank you very much. Excellent. I don't want to take up too much of your time, so I will, if it's okay with you, just go ahead and get started. Very good. Thanks, Tanisha. When I was growing up, I I was raised in North Dakota, so in the Midwest. It was a very um, sort of idyllic childhood. I'm an only child, which uh, is a huge key factor. Everything that I needed to do, I kind of had to do for myself. My parents afforded me a wonderful childhood, even though they weren't really having a great uh, a great time themselves. Uh, they ended up getting divorced when I was in high school. Mm-hmm. That was a big uh, turning point as well. I actually ended up leaving and, and just moving down to Tucson, Arizona. That's really where I think a lot of my personal exploration started finding my soulmate, my husband uh, in Phoenix then, uh, that was a key factor in, um, you know, making me who I am because as an only child, you're not, you're not really prepared to always trust your feelings or everything else with somebody else. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's, he's proven me wrong. So I, I can rely on him. And that makes me, that allows me to become more of the person I am again. I became passionate de- about design at a really, really young age, um, and I don't think I knew what it was. Design, the word design wasn't really in my uh, vocabulary at that time, but I was, always, um, I was always changing my space around. I was always playing with the things that I, that I could, manipulating the things that I could. Um, a, a lot of architects and designers say they were big Lego fans uh, of my generation. Uh, a lot of uh, Lincoln Log, where you were creating or building from a modular piece. I was all over that. Human scale came in to play right away, uh, which is why I went into interiors versus, uh, say, city planning or something like that. Be a good listener and um, have patience, reserve judgment, and do your research. Um, steel case being a really uh, heavy research-based company. I really admire. They propel themselves on their research. So not just there to sell products, but to actually change the world with design. If it's for my job right now, is it an office space that needs to be uh, modular that so that they can take down these parts and pieces and put them up somehow other way? Or am I trying to like awe somebody with a, an art piece or a sculpture? So what's the, what's the problem we're trying to solve? And then how might I attack that? Lots of scribbles, pictures, cut out, mosaic things. And then uh, a few pages later, it's an organized list. Have patience, withhold judgment. So you learn to be more dipl- diplomatic, but you also, like, for me, what I think is really fun is fueling other people to be creative. This is a loaded question. All I can say is that a lot of the things like space planning, FF&E, so furniture, fixtures, and equipment, those types of things are starting to be uh, compiled by the people who are selling them. Things are being bundled in our world. We like to bundle things and we like to get a really good deal. And I think that that's going to hurt us or is hurting us mm-hmm. down the road because we don't have those checks and balances as much as maybe we did before. I think there is more consideration being given to our physical needs. I hope there is, at least in like healthcare, the addition of biomimicry and modularity and the idea that that we can take care of you in a healing kind of way. I'm hoping that that's the way we're going. I've seen some of that. Let's say budget, educating the client and problems with being able to get product. The HGTV watchers are going to be um, some of your biggest (laughs) problem makers because they think they know everything because they watched somebody do it on the TV one. We're here, we're in this together, right? We're in this together and we're going to explore something and we're going to get you what you need in the best the best way possible. What I would say to a young student is have fun. Like try it all. Don't be concerned with the end outcome and 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 try everything that you possibly can because you'll never get that chance again. Jessica, it was so nice speaking with you and I hope you have a great week. Thank you again. Thank you. My pleasure, Tanisha. Bye-bye.